So Peter, tell me what's going on today. Okay, I'm getting ready to glue the top on this guitar body here. And this particular method I'm going to show you here is a really nice, simple, old world method that uh, anybody can do really easily. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second. This is the body. The guitar body is totally ready to glue the top on. The linings have been notched. As you can see here, the linings have been notched for the braces. Labels in, everything's ready to go. Now this setup uses an outside mold, which you can see on the bottom. I've got an additional piece of plywood in here, which is going to protect the guitar body from these clamps. This particular piece of wood gets the body up off the bench so that I can get the clamps underneath, and you'll see how that goes when I get started. So I'm pretty much ready, and we're just going to go after it right now. And this is a technique that's unique to Oberg guitars, correct? Uh, this particular clamping method is not entirely unique to me, but I don't know that anybody, I don't know of anybody who uses this particular clamp. The old school guys used bed spring coils, uh, spring steel from bed springs. And uh, these I got from, uh, these are spring clamps that connect your dryer hose to your outlet. So I cut these off at the spot that I felt I need, and then uh, they spread. They have enough spring that they actually become clamps. And if your fit is good, you don't need a ton of pressure. So these work really well. So I'm going to jump in here right now and get the glue spread. And you'll see how the whole process goes. Get a nice even bead all the way around. Not going to really talk about the top itself today too much. The top's all ready to go, obviously, or I wouldn't be in this position right now. Put a little bead in each one of these mortises. spread it using the most reliable glue spreader in the world. Try to keep moving because you know how glue is. You want as much working time as you can. Remembering that uh, this corner is going to get rabbited away later for the bindings. So it's better to have the glue bead spread cleanly to the inside and not so much of a worry keeping it clean to the outside. Although it's good just to keep it even all the way around. Okay, so that's good. Take a brush and spread the glue just a hair inside the mortises. Here I don't put glue all the way out to the side. I leave a little, there's a little bit of a groove chiseled in there. I keep the glue away from the edge of the sides and just put a couple of dabs there. In theory to keep the, to allow the top to move around underneath the fingerboard or vice versa. So that's not a, not a totally permanent fix right there. Okay, now the top. There's the top. That's all you get to see of the special secret bracing pattern. Okay, the top's on. This call is going to obviously protect the top from the brace from the uh, clamps. Now I'm going to get started putting these guys on. Let's see how quickly this can go. Halfway across, halfway across the shop, too. So what I'm doing is going every other space where I'm going to want to use a clamp so that I get it clamped down initially and then I'll come back and fill in the spaces. 
and then there's a single wooden screw clamp that I'll use up top. Let's see when I get to that point. tensioned all of these before I get started so everything's ready. Sometimes I have to shift the body on the one underneath that's shimming it up. Yeah, it seems like that piece of wood works perfectly for, for this process. Yeah, it's just the right height so I can spin it around on the top and still be able to hang the body out over the edge of the bench to get these clamps in place. And if you don't like where you put it the first time there, there, you can just adjust it really quickly. Okay, so that's the first time through. Now I'm going to go through again in between all the existing ones. Occasionally look underneath to make sure everything is looking good. You do this enough times, then you know kind of what the spacing should look like as you go. You were asking? Yeah, I was curious what makes Ober guitars get such a unique sound to them. You can ask me about the sound, huh? Okay. I don't want to put you on the spot, but <laughs> since you're here, I figured to bring it up. You know, it's funny up. you ask, because I was thinking about this last night, listening to you, you guys talk about Mercury Retrograde, and I had this thought that maybe one should only do like the critical work on the top when Mercury is not retrograde, given Mercury is the uh, so-called planet of communication, uh -huh. and the guitar top is the most critical part of the sound, communicating music, communicating uh, musical ideas. Oh, good. What do you think about that? That makes sense to me. <laughs> yeah. See how I artfully dodged the, the talk about what the secret to my sound is? You can't give everyone everything. <laughs> Definitely not. No, I think what the most, one of the most important things is to have jazz playing in the background. Whatever you do, don't play classical guitar music in the background when you're clamping up your uh, guitar top. That's my advice. And Have the other one is being a good frame of mind. Okay, so that part's done except down here at the bottom. I've got a space that I've saved a couple of clamps for. Nice even bead of glue coming out all along the edge. And the only thing remaining is to clamp the top to the pad that's on the top of the neck block. It secures this whole area up here. And for that, I've got an additional plywood block that I set on top, and a piece underneath that shims this out to the right height. I've already basically gotten this almost exactly where I want it. So I get that in about that spot right there. Crank on some pressure. Looks good. There's a nice even glue bead coming out underneath. So that's it. The last component of this would be to grab my mirror and have a look inside. Make sure there's not some uh, horrendous glue bead about to fall down on the label or not that if there were something that weren't fitting well, I'd have a great fix for it, except maybe to throw a few extra clamps on, but everything looks good. I look like a dentist right now. Thank you. You need some work done on your teeth? Okay. 
So that's it. Now, I'm not quite sure exactly how long that took, but as you can see, this is a really easy, really straightforward way to clamp your top on. And when you take it apart, this comes off first and these things come off like a really quickly and you're ready to route off the or, or chisel off however you take the overhang off the top and move on to bindings. So that's it. I hope that was helpful. Definitely. I, now I know what type of music to play when I'm building my guitar. <laughs> Sounds good, man. All right. Thank you. Thank you.